My name is David Diamante, and today I want to talk about March Madness. It's one of the most exciting sports times of the year, and a lot of people look forward to it. But if you're not really sure what to do and how to fill out your brackets, you might be a little bit worried. So I'm going to walk you through a couple steps to help you out with what they call bracketology. Rule number one, have fun. There's so many games, and they're all played in neutral areas, and people come together, so just make sure to have fun with it. Rule number two, do your research. So don't just look at the high majors. You've got the Big East, you've got the Big 10, you've got the Big 12, the Pac-12, you have the ACC, the SEC, you've also got the mid-majors. So you wanna look for coaches who have been there before. You wanna look for players that can do that. You wanna look at things like high percentage of threes. A lot of these games, a lot of the championship games come down to guys that can shoot threes. You also wanna look at guys' defenses, also free throw percentages. When you're checking out and doing your research, you wanna check not just the local, but you also wanna check national. Because when you check local, a lot of times they have the little facts that the national might not have. At the same time, when you check local, sometimes they're a little bit biased toward their home team. You can look for the upsets, or the sleeper, they call it a sleeper, or your Cinderella, okay? So you got your pumpkin right there, that's for your Cinderella, it's more like a baseball, but ones play 16s first, always the ones win. Actually, after the Elite Eight, ratings to be honest, it really goes out the window. When you look at different matchups, when you look at the 5v12 slot, they actually get to the Sweet 16 more than 7s and 11s, and they've been there more than 8s and 9s combined. Look for the smart ones that, that would be upsets. So let's say number six, let's look at strength of schedule. A team's record might look great, but it might be a little bit inflated depending on the teams that they've played. When they get the brackets, you wanna look at which team they're gonna have to play to make it. Another thing you want to look at too is how teams travel. All the games take place in neutral sites, but some are closer to some people's hometowns. So you want to look at who's going to have a home game. So when they play, they have all their fans there. One of the things you might want to do <clears throat> is you might want to start getting your cold now. By the time the week of, of the opening comes, you know, you can go ahead and take off where everyone else is just getting sick and their boss knows you've already got that. Another thing that you want to do, get the latest app for your smartphone. You want to be able to see these games. It's very important to check out the action. Most important thing, rule number 10, refer to rule one. Have fun with it. It's the most important thing. You want to try to choose who's going to be cutting the nets in the Georgia Dome. It's going to be a ton of fun. So guys, get out your brackets, get your pens, and uh, have fun with it.